right, all right, all right. It is time for another episode of the Florencio Files. And you know what, guys? I've just moved into my new place. One of my lights broke in transit. It should be arriving the day after tomorrow, the new replacement one. Because of that no green screen, I feel like this is a bit ugly. You know what? Let's just take my face out of the frame. Let's just take my face face out the next few episodes. I will be back with my green screen, blocking less of the screen and able to show you me reactions to the excitement as we go. But for now, we're going to do it without my face for a couple of episodes and we'll be back with the green screen in a bit. Down here in the bottom left hand side, he's playing Terran in this map and opening up with a gas first. It is Florencio. He's on his Dankcraft account. No doubt looking to tear it up a little bit, playing a Terran versus Zerg up here <laughs> against Crash. Now, little does Crash know that they are probably about to experience a car crash of a game. That's right. I mean, I'm thinking you're playing against Flo, you're playing Zerg versus Terran. I feel like every Zerg when they play Flo has many points where they could win, but finding any sort of reasoning or logic within the chaos is always something that seems beyond them. They always seem to freeze up at a moment because they simply can't categorize what's happening. And Zerg is a race where you want to identify what your opponent's doing, and then you want to try and counteract it. You want to build drones up to the right point, then start building army, and then defend the opponent's push, and then go into army uh, economy again after that and go to the next tech. When you're playing this guy though, the timings don't make sense. The attacks don't make sense. They come at random moments. And because of that, I feel like we often see Zergs floating thousands of resources, running around chasing their own tail, or as it often is, chasing Widow Mines and Battle Cruisers, and not really able to stabilize. So we are just uh, going to be taking... Is that hatchery off? Oh my! Oh, it is. That is not... A, oh, it's one space lower than it should be. It should be up, up here. Ooh, you can see it's not even... There's even a circle. It's meant to be in the middle of the circle, mate. Crash already off the rails without any interaction. <laughs> what, what is this? Why is there a barracks but going Marines? I thought it was some sort of weird Turax Reaper opening, but Flo's like, no, nope. just going double gas, bunker on the low ground with two Marines in it and a proxy barracks. And I'm going to... Oh, it's proxy ghost. All oh, right. So Terran don't have a lot of initiative. You can tell this because if this SCV actually did any interpreting of his orders, he'd be like, excuse me, sir, aren't we trying to win the war? And then the general's like just super, oh, just clearly insane back in the command center. He's like, yes, we are. And to do so, we must proxy a baddock with a tech lab in the corner of the map and make ghosts from it. I mean, if this SCV had any fucking initiative, he would literally fucking drill the face of that general, kill him and say, guys, we've got a mutiny. He's trying to get us all killed. Why the fuck are we proxying ghosts in the corner of the map against the Zerg player? This is absolute bananas. I, 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 I can't even comprehend it. Well, meanwhile, this overlord has no idea what's going on. Hasn't seen a command center yet, but there is one going down. It's exceptionally late, though. And Florencio here, now at the three and a half minute mark, decides to make an orbital command center. Okay, fair enough. He will have some scans and mules available. Uh, the Zerg player is massing spore crawlers. I think upon seeing a bunker and no expansion, and I believe this Zerg is under the impression that the Overlord would see an expansion if it was there, but it can't. So I think this Zerg is looking at this going, hmm, yeah, he hasn't expanded yet. Now he moves it and is like, oh, he has. Why have we got... Three spore crawlers, though. I mean, it's a handy detection for dealing with the ghosts when they arrive, but a bit of a bizarre opening. Quick melee and a baneling nest. The Zerg is going to be macroing up into the Zergling baneling. Taking a third hatch, so is get, definitely getting many of the pieces that will be needed. Has multiple queens. Taking a lot of gas and not a lot of minerals here. So this Zerg here may in fact be addicted to the Vespine. Maybe snorting a little bit of it rather than using it for its intended purpose. That's the only reason I can imagine for such a vast amount being taken so early. Meanwhile, is that a second Ghost Academy? A third Ghost Academy? F Florencio, did he just drop a scan? Of course, the orbital's not to drop mules. It is to scan. He sees a layer. He sees spores. He says, mm, you're going to have detection. I think we wait for nukes. He's got a factory on the way. You need that before you can make those nukes. And he's going to make three Ghost Academies. So I'm imagining, what, three ghosts come out. Each one gets a nuke, and then they run in and try to nuke all the bases at once. I mean, the detection's at the back of the base. It's not at the front. That could maybe work. 
That being said, if the Zerg simply runs the drones away, they should be okay. Ooh, quick uh, hop inside the command center. The Zerglings are like, oi, oi, stop it. The Marines here are gonna try and get the Zerglings, but gotta get back to the bunker. Oh my God. Oh, barely. Daredevil Marines, man. Daredevils. These are those Marines who, if, if this was, they're basically the people who do that running with the bullshit, but they've been reincarnated 40,000 years from now in the Caprulu sector as these three Marines. They're like, yeah, nah, let's run out. Like eight Zerglings, what could they do? This time it's three Marines versus five Zerglings. I think they're okay. Two of the Lings basically dead before the fight even happens. The Zerglings now decide to engage. Can they get a Marine? They can. Uh, the stutter step there, actually probably the worst micro flow could have done. Managed. <laughs> He was about to, every time he pulled back, he started shooting a different Zergling. So they all got very weak, but none of them got killed. And they actually do have plus one melee, which is why they do so much damage. But this SCV says, get fucking drilled, mate. And does uh, shove his drill into the eye socket of that Zergling. Very Doom Eternal style. Three, have we got nukes yet? Three nukes are ready. Three ghosts are ready. They got a lot of energy. Okay. Bane speed, range upgrades. A spire. This Zerg is just making every single piece of upgrade and tech. Doesn't have any army right now. And that's going to be a problem because even if you detect these ghosts, you're only going to have a few queens and drones to take them out. Now they come in here. <laughs> Surely you nuke three different bases. But no, he nukes the exact same base three times. And he doesn't even nuke directly on. I think it'll still be close enough to do full damage, which means I think it does 500 damage, so it should just barely kill the hatchery unless it regens. It might survive. No. It does take out the hatch. I guess it's guaranteed damage, even with the detection morphing. You can't do that in time. Broodlings run out. The drones are going to try to fight, but you know what? These ghosts don't care, mate. Oh, he's going to try and snipe the overseer. He's got to click it. He's got to click it. Does he get it? He gets it, but one of the ghosts runs out of energy anyway. He's trying to micro his little heart out. He actually snipes the queen, takes out all the drones, and these ghosts running rampant. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? The general may be mad, but potentially he's a mad genius because this actually ki kind of worked out. That actually killed the base. These drones are too afraid to go back down there. They really need to be getting back to that third base to mine. The main base isn't even fully mining right now. And instead they're standing around. What is this? Are they forming a fucking drone labor union? Oh my God. They're trying to figure out how the leadership structure is going to work. Oh my God. Anthony's like, oh, I should be the leader because I was head of my debate class in school. They're like, that doesn't fucking make you relevant. Doesn't, it's, it's not relevant to you running a drone labor union so we don't have to fucking mine minerals in a nuclear landscape. Now they're calling each other's names. Jenny's standing up and pointing fingers. Dennis is just fucking crying in the corner for some reason. And the Zerg Cerebrate does reestablish control and says, get the fuck back to work or we're not going to pay you. And they're like, okay, I guess I do want to feed my family. We, okay, we, we'll go back to work. And uh, they're going to run away. They still don't know. The nuke is actually out there. That's what we call a creep clearing nuke. And remember, when you're on 40 workers versus 40 workers, it's low economy. That's probably not the most effective nuke, but it's the sort of nuke Florencio loves. The let's kill a creep tumor nuke. Why not? Why not? Behind this, Hellions are on the way. He's got reactor factory. So three Hellions can build at a time, but as always, does hit a supply block and builds four depots at once. Has a planetary on the natural, which is going to hold strong. Three more nukes are on the way. Now, let's see what the Zergs built for defense here. Four Zerglings and three Muters. You've got 1,500 minerals. You're not building any more hatcheries. Your lava keep getting nuked. You're building a couple of Mutalisks to deal with the ghosts. That's not going to do shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sorry, boss. We've we got to get the fuck out of here, man. We can't take that nuke to the face. And they do pull back and extract the falls. Another ghost has come from the low ground and is... Is that going to hit anything? He scanned the high ground. He's placed a nuke. I mean, it's big brain getting a nuke into the main from the low ground. And it kills one lava and a creep tumor. Oh, my. Florencio here. I mean, he is not just settling for low efficiency nukes. <laughs> He's the guy who literally pulls out his double barrel shotgun for a fucking mouse he finds in his house. And you're like, uh, are you sure? Are you sure you need a nuke for a creep tumor? And he's like... Yes, and he just fucking cocks the shotgun and blasts this fucking little kitchen mouse. I'm like, you know you just put a giant hole in your floorboards at the same time. And he's like, it's fine. That's a pest. I needed to get rid of it. I'm like, dude, 
Dude, I think there's there's such a thing as appropriate weapons for the situation. I think killing one lava and a creep tumor or a single tumor or two and nukes overkill. This guy's like, uh, yeah, uh, why don't you go back to your fucking liberal, greeny, fucking, oh, we need gun laws, fucking you soy boy cucks. Get the fuck out of here. I believe in the Seventh Amendment of the Kapulu sector. Which is just the fourth amendment but in, in terran world and uh yeah he says get fucked i'll shoot whatever i want meanwhile his other nuclear weapon toting warriors do come in and oh no 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 they're having another labor union but the workers oh no they're in threat oh, oh my god and that is why you need to be secretive when you're starting to unionize you can't let the bosses know it was actually the Cerebrate who called that one in. He was like, guys, I've got the laser spotter. Put it here. I need to make an example of these workers to make sure none of them in the future ever try this bullshit again. What? Oh, you only want to work eight hours a day? You don't want to work 16 hours a day? Oh, I'm sorry. You have children and a family you need to see? <laughs> oh, you want compensation because you lost one of your little nippy claws while fucking mining minerals? That's your fault. You should have paid more attention. You should appreciate what you've got, you dirty little fuckers. Literally commits genocide on his own workers just to prove a point. What an absolute fuckwit. Meanwhile, Hellions come in. They kill a tumor and they do try to run away. The Muters are actually in a decent count. So we might finally see the Zerg establish just a little bit of control here. Just a little bit. But there's more nukes coming in behind that hatch. It's almost dead. Oh, no. The drones are gonna run away. They're gonna have an, another meeting. They're like, look, 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 the last one did get taken out, but we really need to find a way to get better conditions. Oh God, Sally was, she was still mining. She didn't, she didn't get the word. She just got taken out by a nuke. Fucking Sally is dead, mate. Who, who saw that coming? Another nuke coming in here. Uh-oh. Oh my God. Ah. The muters are like, hey, we should probably get some counter damage done. Oh. <laughs> Everything's coming up all explodey. Uh, ooh. I, I feel like somewhere out there watching this game is Junkrat, and he has a monumental erection watching this. He's just like, uh, yes, this sort of game does make the blood run to me, me Junkrat. And I'm like, you're what? He's like, that's what I call it, me Junkrat. I'm like, you call your... You call that your Junkrat? I'm like, your name is Junkrat. He's like, yeah, that's the little Junkrat. I'm like, okay, buddy. Wow. Oh, oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh my, whoa. You know what? I like to imagine Crash is an Australian and he says it, he says it lovingly. I think inflection means a lot. I like to imagine he's Australian. He goes, oh, you cheeky little cunt. I think, I think that's it. You know, I don't, I don't think there was any aid. He said, ah, you cheeky little cunt. Oh, I don't think it was an American like, you cheeky cunt. You know, it wasn't that, that vicious. No, none of that, none of that. GG, well played. Um, that was what we call a disaster, mate. 22 muters, 43 drones, 22 zerglings, two hatcheries, and don't forget, 16 creep tumors. <laughs> All sniped down by a whole ton of nukes. In return, only three widow mines, an SCV, five hellions, three marines, and five ghosts went down. And let's rewind and just once again, look at why, guys, when you are first beginning to unionize, the upper class, the oppressors, those bloody, those who control the means of production through their bloody oppression, they will, they will find a way to try to punish you and to scare you into not ever doing it again. So we're going to go back in this game. We're going to find that. And I need to say, guys, it's a good idea. Unionize, get good conditions for yourself. Don't let the people at the top push you down. Vote Bernie. Fucking yeah. Bit too late for that, but that's all right. But um, the, the thing is, when you are first organizing to say, you know what, um, I've seen all my friends lose their limbs to ghost harass. We shouldn't be working in a nuclear environment. We should move to a different mineral line. Just be warned, because that's what these drones tried to do. All they wanted was a better life for themselves. They wanted to have a safe life for their family. <sighs> you know, it didn't it didn't work out, did it? This this was the moment they ran away from that. Nu they said, that's it. We're done mining in these mineral lines. And they realized the red dot was there just a little bit too late. Uh, can we watch that one more time? It's truly, I, I think you guys, you just got to, you've got to understand. Truly, a truly terrible moment here. 
run. GG, well played, Florencio there. I thought you were drunk. I thought you were mad. But once again, science comes out victorious. GG, well played, you mad psychopath. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to get yourself your very own Florencio shirt, check it out. Links down below in the description. And we got a couple more of them. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye and good night. Pew, pew.